In this video I'm just going to install a very basic kill switch. All I'm doing is adding a toggle switch to the fuel pump power wire. You'll need some tools to strip and crimp the wire, some corrugated tubing, electrical tape, two butt connectors, and two female disconnect terminals. You also need a spool of 16 gauge wire and a switch. I'll have a link to the switch I used in the description. Fold down the rear seat and remove the clip pin. Once it's off, slide the seat towards the pin side and you'll be able to remove the whole seat. I normally just stuff it into the trunk. I'm removing the bottom as well because I'm installing the switch under it. Remove the following stopper and push tabs. Use some pliers to undo this clip here, then you'll be able to get to the wiring. Pull the yellow, black wire out of the tubing. It's the same color for all years and models. Cut the wire, then butt connect your new wiring to it. Use some electrical tape to seal up the connectors, then shove everything back into the tubing. Use some tape on that as well. Install the wire into the new tubing. Since I'm installing this switch under the rear seat, I made this bracket to hold it, but you can install yours anywhere by just running the wiring to it. The only rule is don't install anywhere under the dash. That's the first place anyone's going to look. Strip the wires, then add the female disconnect terminals. Hook up your switch, and make sure the fuel pump still turns on when the switch is on. If everything is working right, you can do the final install of the switch. Now just put everything back together. You can see with this location the driver can just reach back and flip it. That's it. Check the description for some more info.